Today we're going to be making chocolate cake in a mug, and it takes about five minutes to make. What you're going to need is a bowl to mix everything in, a mug to cook the cake in, and the mug has to be greased with either cooking spray or some butter that is lightly greased all over the mug with a paper towel. As for the ingredients, you're going to need four tablespoons of flour. I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour. You're also going to need four tablespoons of white granulated sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, not um, hot chocolate mix, but it has to be baking cocoa. And as for the wet ingredients, you're going to need one egg, three tablespoons of white milk, and one tablespoon of oil. The original recipe called for three tablespoons of oil, but when I made it, I found it to be too oily. So you can play around one to three tablespoons, whatever you like. So to start out with, you're going to need to mix all the dry ingredients together. So I'm going to put the flour in the bowl, then the sugar, and then the baking cocoa. And then with a fork, I'm going to lightly mix that all together. It'll look like that. Now you're going to put in the wet ingredients. To the dry ingredients. Just put that all in there. It's okay if it spills a little bit. Clean that. And then with your fork, you just mix that all together. If you have a whisk, you should use that. Um, if you don't, just use a fork. Works fine. When it's all mixed, it's going to look like this, just a normal cake batter. Now we're going to put it in our mug. You can, of course, mix everything in the mug if you'd like to, but just for the purpose of this video, I did it in a bowl, uh, but whatever conveniences you, you can do that. All right. Once everything's in there, put that to the side. We're going to put it in the microwave and we're going to come back when it's all done. All right, so it's been in the microwave for about three and a half minutes. Time varies from three to four minutes, so depending on your microwave, you'll have to adjust the time that you bake it for. But once it's done, it'll look like this. You'll see it better when I take it out. And also put a plate under it when it's baking in the microwave because it might, sometimes if your cup is not big enough, it might kind of come out and bake along the sides of the mug, but that's fine. So just put a plate under it so you don't have to clean up your microwave. Now with a knife, just a butter knife, I'm just going to go along the, um, the sides of the mug. And it shouldn't be too hard because we did grease the mug. And then, basically, all you do is take the mug and flip it over, like that, and then kind of more in the middle of the plate there, see, it looks like that, and just let it cool for a bit, and I'll show you the finished product. Now it's been about two minutes, and an optional thing you can do to the cake is get a sifter and some powdered sugar, and just put it right over the cake. It just adds to the cake look. But you can, of course, leave it simple. And this is basically what the cake will look like. We'll put pictures at the end so you can see the full view. And thank you for watching. Bye.